Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Um, this is actually a repost of the original tutorial that I did on emissive materials in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I had a few people saying that the quality wasn't the best, so I'm redoing it basically just to make it a little bit easier to see and to follow along. So what is an emissive material? Uh, well, it's quite simply, it's a glowing material that emits light and you can use it to help light up your scene. You can uh, use it, for example, like on here with buttons and uh, exhausts and stuff like that. Now, there are a couple of uh, drawbacks to it in the sense that if the camera isn't looking directly at it, it won't uh, show that light. Um, However, there are little workarounds that you can do. You can actually put lights into those areas. Uh, and I'm sure there is a way of creating a light material as opposed to just an emissive material. But we're going to be concentrating on doing it like this today. So what we're going to do is we're going, just for this example, we are going to be playing around with the exhaust on this TIE Fighter. So let me just click off that. So at the moment, as you can see, we've got a nice glow going around our exhaust. And I actually uh, put a light into this on one of the test scenes that I'm doing for my little Star Wars uh, fanfare and it lit up the scene absolutely amazing it just gave it that extra little pop uh, so I might do a tutorial on how to do that at some point um, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a new material and to do that all we're going to do is in an empty space in the folder that you want to create it just right click and go to material and um, we're going to call this uh, red underscore because Unreal Engine does not like spaces. I'm going to call it red exhaust and then just click off. So now we have a new material. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that material. And you're going to come into the node editor. And don't worry, it looks really scary, but... I promise you this is going to be so simple. It's going to give you a little indication of how the node editor works while we're only going to be creating three nodes. That's it, three nodes to do this. So how do we start putting in nodes? Well, it's really simple. In a blank space, just right click and you'll come up with a search bar like this. So the first type of node we want is we want to tell our material what color our emission is going to be. So we're going to look for a constant three vector. And the default is set to black. Now this is a constant, which means that you can't change the parameters of this unless you actually go into the thin and then that stays it makes it very difficult to actually change it as you go along however we can turn this constant into a parameter and we can change parameters really really easy so all we're going to do is we're just going to right click on the constant and we're going to go to convert to parameter it's the top one just there and we'll call this emission color so now we can actually go in to our parameters menu and we can change the color so let's just make it a nice red color not that it's going to do anything at the moment apart from make that nice and red so now what we want to do is we want to be able to control the strength so you can actually animate this so that it uh, changes kind of intensity. So if like on our TIE Fighter, if you wanted to do like a boost of uh, speed, you can increase the intensity to make that kind of glow bigger or that flare bigger. And once again, we're going to right click in an empty space and we're going to go to constant. 
Now this time we're not going for a three vector, we're just going for a single vector. So it's a single value. However, we want to be able to change this over time. So we can right click and go to convert to parameter again. And let's call this emission strength. So now we can change our emission strength and our parameter, all uh, our emission strength and our color inside the parameters menu very, very easily. However, this is the problem. The problem is, is you can only plug one of those nodes into your emissive color, which is what we want to go for. That's what's gonna give us the uh, glow. So how do we get the two talking together? Well, in this case, we are going to type in multiply. And basically what this is gonna do is we're gonna plug in our emissive color and our emissive strength. And what this node is going to do is it's gonna go right. So this is our color, this is our strength, put them together output to our emissive color so now as you can see on the right hand side we actually have a glow in the color we want and we can go in and we can change this we can increase uh, the strength we can make it really really bright like fire uh, and we can play around with the color so okay let's have a look at doing a blue one so then all you do is you're just going in and changing these parameters so your emission color going into the multiply along with your emission strength so a plus b equals your emissive color effectively and it gets the two to work together now to apply this you just go to apply hit save make sure you hit save and then on your model and where you've got your uh, the, the material section that you want to put in you just literally drag it over and it changes straight away for you so now if we just get that to turn around you can see that it has changed color just based on that material. Now you could add this to whatever part you want, um, to whatever material slot you have. So let's, for just for a bit of fun, let's put the exhaust back to how it was. So we've got a green exhaust, but let's change the windows, for example. So now we're emitting color from the windows and let's just go in and just turn that down a little bit there you go and we hit apply save so it's a really good way of kind of playing around with the light but once again like i said is unless you're looking at it you're not going to be able to see that uh, emissive glow However, it does work quite nicely if in your, when you come to do like post processing and that, you can come down to lens flares and you can put lens flares in and play around. With some of them. So you can increase it a little bit so there you go that's how you create emissive materials um, i am going to have a look and see if there is a way to actually create light materials as opposed to just an emissive material so that you can have that constantly um, shining onto a thing however if we start turning off our lights and that 
you'll be able to see it does actually light up our scene quite nicely. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you do have any questions, queries, or if you have any um, ideas for future tutorials, uh, please do leave them in the comments. Um, I am in a position now where I can spend a little bit more time uh, doing tutorials like this and trying to help everyone learn the same way as I am. And so good luck and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.